most often. And my mom is nope. sick and I'm not forgetting. Check, yeah. I'm going to check. Okay. Mama, no, no, it's a little bit. Ah, I thought it was a little bit. So, ah, okay. Allora, mi ricordavo qualcosa. Ora siamo proprio alla stagione, guarda. Ah, va bene, va bene, mi fa piacere. Allora, so they're in actually four now because their um, intern is being in the process of actually, she's done an apprenticeship of being taken off. So, Anna, who's usually here in the morning, also. So, there's four artists. Artisans uh, work in the workshop here, and they're going to explain actually what they do because what you see here is actually the area where they actually elaborate what they do, and then back is the showroom. So, <coughs> so does everybody get close? You need to get really close in order to see what he's explaining to you. That in the design. Okay, so there's a design. Vengono ritagliati vari particolari. Posso farti eh, vedere che sì. questo era quello, vero? Sì, sì. Ok, so, posso toccarlo? Con molta ah. delicatezza. Sì, no, no, infatti. Ah, ah, so, does everybody see the beauty of this object? Mm -hmm. Ok? This, yep, these are good. So this was once a design on paper. Remember we talked about in the academia that the drawing was the most fundamental skill set to learn? Now, what they're going to do is, from this design, cut out all of the pieces in stone that are going to make up this little bird, which is a portion of a much larger design. I'm going to give it back very delicately. Wow. Whoops, what the, sorry. Can you see behind, actually, that? Mm -hmm. So it's like a puzzle. La colla che usiamo è una cera di api e resina di piante. So it's resin. So what they do to actually glue them is beeswax and resin. Resin that's made from plants and the beeswax obviously made from the bees. So Poi quando l'oggetto sarà terminato verrà. Ciao la Ah, so this is when you, when they when they finish the actual the full piece they'll also clean it and so it will become brighter. Questo verrà sul fondo di lapis lazuli. So this is going to go on a background. Remember we were talking about lapis lazuli yesterday at the last supper that this was one of the most prized colors. So that is the stone actually coming from modern day Afghanistan. So that is going to go on a background of lapis lazuli. So now we're going to show you, look at what he's working on sì, over there. Un po più complicato, oh, sorry guys, I'm just trying to show you da questa idea di questo quadro. So they've got the idea from this picture, and they're going to do this and make it in stone. So just think about, we haven't gone to the Uffizi yet, but think about the shading, the shadows, the multiple different grades of color that are actually used in the making of this. Mm. Questo è spettacolare anche. Ma questo è già messo... Eh, momentaneamente è qui perché è sezionato. Ah, ok. Se, con il rinforzo di lavagna. Ok. Poi questa si toglie e si continuerà a costruire. So it's only temporary. You see how it's only partially complete? It's actually on chalkboard. Vedi, and... Come questa, già... Che è già... Già, ah, già stabile, già a sua stabile. E si continua con gli estilori. Poi via via che c'è tanti pezzi, siccome questo è un lavoro che durerà un annetto anche anche. It's going to take them about a year to do this piece. Via via che c'è un po' di lavoro viene rinforzato subito. So since they're only working on the initial pieces and it's going to become much larger, they're actually doing it in pieces so that it's reinforced on the back so that it becomes solid. If you take a close look at this, I don't want to touch them because they're... Just look at all the different pieces of stone that they need to cut in order to make one little piece. Here's another example of a work. Anybody recognize this space if you can walk around Florence? It's our famous bridge. Look at all the different pieces that make up from the details of the window to the inside of the arches. And it was taken from that picture. Wow. Ecco, ora c'è la parte del disegno mancante. So they haven't finished the last part. So they're still working on this one. E wow. indietro. Ecco. And the back of it, which is, so the resin, beeswax, and it's stuck into. Now, they're also, he's going to show you, they're cut on an angle, the stones, yeah. so that they fit in together. So it's not just they have to cut the piece out and it's a straight cut. They're actually cut on an angle. 
Sure. Facciamo vedere un po' di materiali. Ok, guys, come over this way. Sì. Ecco, qui abbiamo per esempio mm. un campionario di alcune serie che usiamo, dai lapis lazuli dell'Afghanistan. So, that's the lapis. Malachite dalla Russia. Malachite from Russia. O nocchio di tigre dall'Africa. The eye of the tiger from Africa. Poi abbiamo il porfido dall'Egitto. Porphyry from Egypt. O qua abbiamo dei legni fossili. Questi vengono dall'Arizona e dalla California. Those are fossils. Fossil rocks actually from Arizona and from California. They yeah. also... Hmm? Pietre, no? No. Eh. Legno fossili. Sì, fossili, infatti, fossili, fossili. Mm. 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 E poi ci sono anche molte pietre della Toscana. Questo è un diastro del fiume Arno. So this no, comes from the, along the river. So they actually, some of the stuff wow. they will order, actually, obviously. E questo viene utilizzato molto per fare le foglie. This they actually go and search out since it's a local stone and it's used often for the leaves. Oh, you see the beautiful coloring, the natural shading? Poi abbiamo il calcedonio del sud della Toscana. That one comes from the south of Tuscany. E queste sono pietre che si trovano a Fiesole. Qui abbiamo una pietra paesina, qui abbiamo un lineato, si chiama lineato. Ecco come si presenta la fiori. So it looks like a rock from the outside, but inside it's quite spectacular. That comes from the little hilltop town just north of Florence. Mm -hmm. No. Let's show you how they cut them now, what they do. And we've got to go to the other side of the workshop. Si usa. C'è il modello incollato sulla pietra. So they remember they have the drawing, then they're going to cut the drawing into pieces because they're looking for this specific color on this specific stone and they're actually going to glue it to the stone. Si usa un arco di legno e un semplice filo di ferro. So this is a steel little wire attached to the obviously the arc which e is questa sabbia abrasiva. So sand that makes it abrasive water. Messa sul filo, consuma la pietra. So it actually, while he places that on, the abrasive sand on the steel wire there itself, it will cut through and make it like a saw. Now he's cutting it at an angle. So imagine for every single piece that makes up one of those, they have to do this. We cut the larger stones in the square so they can get a stone of that size. They have a big machine back there that slices them into this. That. Yeah. With this system, you can cut any type of stone with this technique. Doesn't matter how hard. The porcelain that Red Lemon showed you before, that's one of the most difficult. That's one of the most typical stone back in the skull. You can now we understand the time that goes into making something of this. Very precise are the cuts, obviously, using this technique. You have to be very skilled, obviously, in knowing how, obviously, he gives it to me, I'm not going to do what he can do. And he won't even let me try. <laughs> <laughs> Dicevo che non sono così preciso. Sembra facile, non è. Dicevo non facile. Eh, no, 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 io non credo che sia facile, anzi, proprio posto. So, would you guys like to see what they've got in their workshop, some of the works that they've done? L'ultima cosa, certo, anche la lucidatura avviene in maniera naturale. Ah, bene. Sempre con le stesse abrasivi, sempre molto sottili levigando la superficie con del piombo, dei fogli di piombo. Ah, quello non lo sapevo. Levigando.